Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a video today to kind of talk to you guys about how to trade in the market when it is at this current state right now. We have a very high market where a lot of card prices are inflated. People have coins on this game um, because of EA um, doing a foot birthday promotion, not doing a ton of SBCs that a lot of people wanted to do. So a lot of the high rated players, I mean, they are still inflated because they dropped a lot of icons and a lot of people are doing icons um, on the weekend now after weekend league is over. They're kind of chipping away at maybe a Cruyff, maybe a Roberto Carlos, um, or maybe any other of these icon SBCs that are in the store right now. Um, people might be chipping away at these right now, but still overall the market has a lot of coins and we really saw that this weekend um, by some of the just some of the ways that the market moved um, after the foot birthday promotion and how a lot of stuff went up. Example number one and prime example are these foot birthday cards. These cards rose incredibly out of packs and that was even uh, at the same time with a lot of people investing in them, they still rose a ton. So usually when you have a lot of people investing in cards, it kind of hampens or it doesn't uh, they don't have as great of a rise because it's not all just demand, demand, demand. People going and buying those cards, you have people selling cards at the same time to kind of counteract that rise in price. Uh, but these cards, just they just flew. They just went up out of packs. The day they were out of packs, they just started flying. So that's one interesting thing and that also tells me that this market has a lot of coins. Um, and that makes it fun for trading and that's why I wanted to make this video today because a lot of people have been asking me Yo, what do I do to trade right now? How do I make coins? Um, I have coins. I want to trade I want to make more coins for team of the season or whatever um, What's the best way to trade? right now and for me This is something that you can do at almost any time of the year, but it's almost um, It's just very good right now is flipping cards and that is Obviously, you're thinking, well, that's a very broad term, very simple term. Um, but right now, especially the end of the weekend league, it is a perfect time to do this. I just went on flip in a couple minutes ago and uh, looked at some prices. Saw that this Lewandowski card is pretty low. He's usually right around 500k. Um, so I'm going to try to snag this on bid and save the extra 5k because there was just one up for 443k. Um, and then also you see open bids. And this is another Lewandowski that I saw. This is what you're gonna see on the weekends. Um, this just helps out your trading. If you're on late night, if you're one that, a person that likes to watch the bids, uh, you can get deals like this, turn around and flip them very often on the weekend league sell-off days, Saturday and Sunday, which we are currently in right now. But regardless of that, you don't have to just go out and bid on cards. What you're gonna be doing is gonna be looking to flip. And this is how we trade in the market when it's very high. You're gonna to go to the team of the weeks tab, flipping.com backslash squads. And you're gonna look through all of these team of the weeks and special, um, they have the special teams in here as well, like Carnival, um, Headliners, FFS, all that. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll through these team of the weeks. You're gonna look at prices and you're gonna to start to learn those prices and look at their flipping graphs. And I want you guys to focus on some of the top tier players. You're, you're gonna wanna focus on players that people are gonna be buying and selling a lot, that they're going to be pulling in, in, the, in and out of their teams, or they're gonna wanna try. So from this team of the week right here, I don't see a ton of usable players that I would, I would want to try to flip, where Charleston would be one, Di Maria would be one, and that would almost be about it for this team of the week because a lot of this stuff doesn't really move too much. The stuff that really moves and the stuff that you're gonna have success with trading and flipping is gonna be the stuff that people are actually using in the games. Bilotti right now at 59K, this interests me a bit. You can see in packs he was 45, he rose to 64, and he's down to about 59. Actually, that's not as good as I thought it was, but we'll move on. So now I've learned the Bilotti's price. If I see him at like 55, that would be a price where I would buy his card. I'm sure it's a little bit rare on the market. This team of the week is a pretty rare team of the week. I'll be looking to buy that card on the market for maybe like 55. Now I know his price. I can continue to look through other team of the weeks. And when I scroll back through maybe tomorrow or later tonight when I'm looking again, maybe his price has kind of just hit a low point in a natural dip. Prices fluctuate on the market all the time and maybe his price is a lot lower. And that's basically what we're doing with this idea of flipping. We're just looking at, at normal card fluctuations. We're looking at cards that fluctuate more 
than um, obviously more than 5% because that's how much fluctuation we need to cover our tax. Cards that fluctuate 10% is a perfect, perfect ball game to get into in terms of flipping cards on a regular and normal basis. A lot of these uh, Carnival cards interest me as well to flip just because they're so rare. But none of the prices, except for Benucci, Benucci slightly interests me. He got over 90k. He's only at 86. If I saw him at 80,000 coins flat, that would be a good a good price to pick him up. But basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll through these team of the weeks, and I'm trying to do it right now with you uh, to kind of show you guys how this works. And don't skip over these special card teams. You know, the headliners and all that stuff. Make sure you look at those cards for sure, um, just because a lot of these cards are very rare as well. So, Lala. Before this week, he went up about 258 this weekend. Not really a profit range there. Not going to look into his card. Um, but this is basically what you're going to do. And I'm going to take us back to um, the main screen here and look at a few of these cards. And we're also going to search up a few cards as well. But um, this is basically how you flip the cards. So let's look at Lewandowski since I've been talking about him. We'll go back over here. I'm going to show you what's going on with this Lewandowski card because this is a deal that I have found right here in front of me and I want you guys to learn how to trade like this so right now you see 450 the next cheapest is 499 I know that's not true it's actually 490 but if you look at his price he was 400k he went up to 500,000 coins this weekend that's what I'm seeing he went up a lot very rare card so this is why he caught my eye today when I was first scrolling through what's his price been in the last day or so 460 and he's been 500 just about all day, 484 at one blip. I think I can sell this card on Xbox very easily at 480, 490,000 coins. That's why I want to get on this bid for 445. I can turn around, sell them for 480 to 490, and make about 15 to 20k um, on that transaction. That'd be a very nice flip, and that's what we're looking for in a lot of these cards: 10 to 15 to 20k flips that just add up, add up, add up over time in the normal daily swings of the market. Now, the reason why this gets a little bit tricky right now in the high market is a lot of people aren't selling their cards, so these prices aren't dipping that much. They're not selling their cards because they have coins, they played the weekend league. There's a lot of people that um, obviously are now more motivated to play weekend league because of the new foot champions upgrade SPC where you can turn in your red player picks. This gave people incentive to play the weekend league this weekend. This SPC and this one right here um, so I think you're going to see a lot more people playing the weekend league this weekend and effects on the market of that we probably won't see except this, this the time is that people are playing games still. We'll get more rewards on Thursday that'll help our Thursday flipping. Um, but again, that also will cause people to maybe not sell their teams because they're happy with what's going on. They're playing all their games um, and you know they're, they're actually playing the game just because they want to get those rewards. So Continuing to look through teams like this, I don't see many prices in here that interest me at the moment. A lot of them are pretty high. Um, Calvert-Lewin. Okay, nothing there interests me. But basically, if you just keep doing this, you're going to find some deals. You're going to start to learn prices. You're going to start to read graphs and realize, all right, this card is low right now in the moment. I should be able to flip this card for some profit. And Getting outside of the team of the weeks is a good thing as well. If we go to FIFA 19 players, you can also look up the man of the match items. We'll go down here to the orange man of the match cards. These cards are great to flip too because they're very rare. Sergio Ramos, Angel Di Maria, Bernardo Silva. Um, some of these are in packs right now, but a lot of them are very good to flip. And as well as the, you go to UCL tab and go over to man of the match, a lot of these cards are very rare as well. And these are very good to flip right alongside with those other cards. So again, I obviously am trying to get a few flips to actually show you guys how this works, but I won't be able to complete the flip um, just because it takes it takes time to sell. So I'm gonna try to get on this Lewandowski for 445 and on this other bid, but that's basically what you guys can be doing is going and looking through these, these team of the week teams. And this is just a way to flip in FIFA all the time. This is honestly just a way where you can um, flip cards and make coins at any any point or any time in the game, this is a great trading method to use and to do. Um, but of course, right now, it's even better because people are selling off or selling on, however you say it, selling, getting rid of their players at the end of this weekend league. Um, and they're going to try their players out to do an icon SBC. But a lot of these players are pretty rare. Here is an interesting price. 
Cancelo right back, 127. I do know that there is the Milinkovic Savage right back card that is in the game. As you see, his card did not rise at all this weekend. Last weekend, though, 154. So if I see this card in the lower 120s, I am going to get interested in this because people are eventually going to revert back to what they know. You can see on a daily basis, this card gets up to 137. We're going to have about seven or 8,000 coins of tax here, 7,000 coins-ish. Uh, so that would put us at like a 4 to 5k profit if we sold at 138. What about Friday? What was his price? Yeah, so about on an average day basis, you can see this Cancelo card goes from 122 to about 139. So I'm going to go look at this Cancelo. First, I'm going to go look at that Lewandowski to make sure I do not miss that bid. Because I think time is running out. Perfect. We're going to drop that bid of 445 and Lewandowski. Go back here and check out Cancelo. And see if we can get a Cancelo at 125. Because if I can get a Cancelo at like 125, that will be a very easy flip for me at 135 plus tomorrow. And that interests me a lot. So I do not see any at the moment. We have this one for 127. We'll look for some open bids as well. Since it is late night Xbox market. There's a bid for 121. I'll just add that to the transfer targets and watch that. See if that goes through. But now I have a card on my transfer targets as well. And when you're flipping, this is something very easy that you can do on console. It doesn't take a lot of time. If you're going to sit down and you don't want to actually play the game, uh, but you do want to make some coins, this is a very easy way to do it. To sit down, it's fun. You're going to be using flipping, looking through prices. And it's a very easy way to make coins in the way that the market is right now. I'm going to list this Lewandowski for 485. See if I can make my 20k profit on that card. So again, you can do this on any budget. I mean, you can do this with cards that are 20K. You can do this on cards that are 30K, 40K, 100K, 500K, just like with this Lewandowski. Um, you can do this with any price range. Now, if you're under 100,000 coins, I wouldn't go recommend buying a player for 99K, trying to sell it for 110, um, unless it's a player that you know that you can sell right away because that kind of hinders your, your um, I don't know what you would call it, but your efficiency in trading, you want to be efficient with this. If you have 100,000 coins and you want to know how to trade, go to silvers. Go invest in silvers, flip silver cards, uh, because those fluctuate a lot as well. And there are always people who are doing SBCs of the icon SBCs. Silvers are used in icons um, or league SBCs. So that's a great way to trade with those. Um, now this Fabinho is taking my notice here. You see last week he hit 130 at his lowest point. Went up to 148 this weekend. Let's look at the hourly graph. What are his fluctuations like? 130 low to almost up to 150 at one point during the day today. About Friday, he was 140 to 160. You know what? We're going to go take a look at this Fabinho card. If he is still there at 130, I'm going to snatch that up. List it for like 147. Take a little bit of profit. Hopefully, maybe sell him overnight. Oh my goodness. 130. Yeah, I got to buy that. We have got to buy that for sure. So I'm actually going to compare price right now and see what other ones are on the market. So there's a 150, there's a 135, a 140, a couple open bids, a couple at 135, um, but that does not scare me. So I'm gonna go 150, 149. I'm gonna look for an, um, like a 10K profit on that card, which is pretty solid. And I'm actually gonna go and add a few of these other ones to my transfer list because this is a card that people are going to buy and sell a lot. We have a uh, Robertson in the team of the week that adds some value to that Fabinho card as a link. Um, now I will say one thing that Fabinho card is from an older team of the week. So be careful with these older team of the week cards. I'm in team of the week 14 right now. A lot of these cards have kind of lost their, uh, their hype, I guess you could say. Uh, they've lost their hype throughout the, the year because they've been in packs for so long. So I don't mess with these lower team of the weeks, like earlier team of the weeks. I don't mess with this stuff too often unless it's very meta players like a Timo Werner, a Bamiang, Chiellini, stuff like that. I try to stick to the stuff that's up here at the top that's more recent, and especially cards that people are just going to try out, like these foot birthday cards. People are still going to be trying these cards out um, at any given point because they're so new and because they have that, uh, that hype to them still. So... These cards are going to be great ones to flip. As you just saw, there was a Koulibaly for 182 um, the last time that we looked at that squad. So I noticed that. Took a notice of that card price. Now I'm going to go check him out on the market and see what he is. Um, and see what this CDM Koulibaly is 
in price. 211, 210. Uh, what do we have here? We have a 206 and a 205. So this one is the cheapest one on the market right now. And he was just 182 a little bit ago. So fluctuations like that. If I would have bought that one for 182, I could have listed it at 200K flat and that would have been 8K profit. Boom. Right there, I could have listed at 202, maybe got a sell and boom, that would have been 10K profit. So stuff like that, little 10K at a time, little 15K at a time, even if it's 5K at a time. You're making coins, you're making money, and that's a very easy way to make coins right now when the market is high. Now, does this matter from PS4 to Xbox? Not really. The fluctuations are the same. If you go into PS4 graphs, they fluctuate as well. Let's look at the PS4 graph for Fabinho. So Fabinho went down here to 137 on, on, uh, on Saturday, rose back up to 163, went down to 144, and then obviously, so this card fluctuates on PS just like it does on Xbox. There's no difference uh, between the consoles with that. So again, hopefully that you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people were asking me, hey, how can I trade right now? What can I do to make some coins? And this is the best way to do it. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't come to you right away. It takes a little bit of learning. You learn a lot of prices. And once you get familiar with those prices, uh, you can make a lot more coins because you know what you're looking for. Um, in terms of what cards should be what what price but once you learn a lot of those things maybe focus on a few cards make a concept squad of cards that you like to look through this is a concept squad for me that i like to look through that has some very rare man of the match items and hero cards and all that stuff um, i look through this this squad all the time and just look for undercuts i flip this Mane a few times uh, this rashford a few times um Make a concept squad like this with cards that you like to flip that are in your budget. Let's say you have uh, 200K. Get a list of, of cards that are in the, the 50 to 250K range that you can maybe get a quick flip on. You know, stuff like that. And that's a great way to make coins. 105 for Di Maria. Let's go check out Di Maria's price to end the video. We're going to look at Di Maria's Fanta version right now. 115 is usually his price. We're going to switch to the Xbox graph. This weekend he went up to 121. What about on the daily graphs? He goes from like 114. Oh, he got really rare. So he goes, he's usually around like 115, 116. This one at 105. I'm going to snatch it up. We snatched it up. I'll relist that for uh, 119 and see if we can get a sale. Maybe get a sale overnight. Stuff like that. Always list these for one hour. Then when you're going to go to bed or whatever, list them for six hours or 12 hours, depending on how long it will be until you're on the market next. That way your cards are always staying on the market. They're always available for somebody to purchase them. Um, and you're always just leaving the possibility of your card selling when you, when you do something like that of listing your card up overnight. So again, this is a great way to trade. I know a lot of people are wanting to know what can I do right now, right now to make coins. This is a great way to do that. Um, and it's a great way to uh, keep your coins liquid and still make coins at the same time. If you get stuck in any of these flips, usually you're not hurting as bad as if you went all in on a certain card. Um, usually it works out better that way. And this is a very good way to keep your um, risk free, basically, is what I'm going for with that. More of a risk free way to make coins on foot. Um, again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. I'll be there um, helping you guys out as much as I can. Um, but I wanted to put this video out more informational because I think a lot of you guys need to see this, want to see this. Um, and it's something that you can do at all times. I've talked about this multiple times throughout the year this year, uh, that this is a, an easy way to make coins. You can do it at any time. But right now it's especially good with the market buying power being very high and uh, a lot of people trying out cards. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And uh, again, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Literally two minutes after I end the recording, look what I get. My flip of Di Maria happens right away. Five minutes, two minutes, five minutes, somewhere in there. We made a nice five to seven K on a Di Maria flip like that. Happy flipping, guys.